Oh, good morning and welcome to the preview for the weekend racing. A uh, couple of reasonable races. Main racing is in New Zealand this weekend with the Telegraph meeting. That's a good race. Uh, the Aussie racing is fairly ordinary. Uh, Ranwick, or as they like to call themselves, Royal Ranwick. I don't think they, I think they managed to get uh, 10 runners in one race. So the New South Wales racing is not worth anything anymore. So we won't be touching anything there. Don't like the Flemington meetings. A couple of short ones there, I think, will win. So there's no value there at all. Uh, it looks like we will we'll probably wait towards the end of the month when they start the uh, sprinting Triple Crown and uh, leading into, obviously, Australia Day. Uh, sorry, um, Australia Cup and the new market and those sort of races. I think there's uh, better pickings than what's available now. Uh, going through the card, uh, had a look at a few of the meetings. We start at Ascot in race eight. I think there's a couple here at a price. Uh, Dash for home. Now, this is trialled well. It's got terrific fresh form. Uh, it's drawn well at eight or ten or twelve to one. I think it's over the odds. Um, it's got a definite winning chance in a race like this. Rantarini's an interesting one. It's gone to Fred Kersley. Uh, he sent it around dead in a trial. Uh, don't be surprised to see this run a race. It's double figures as well. So Ascot race eight. I bracketed six and nine together. Uh, we go to Doombin race nine. Um, two horses coming out of the one race where they both flashed home. Um, they probably should have run one, two. Uh, they've got beaten the nose and nose. There's a fair tempo in this race, so expect both of these to be flooding home. The 13.50 will suit them. Uh, and that's number 13, More Than Money, and number 7, Chalupa. Now, both, I've backed both of these this morning at 10 or 12, one at 10 and one at 12. I think that's probably a fair price for the pair of them. So, Doombin Race 9, number 13, More Than Money, bracketed with number 7, Chalupa. Uh, one at the Provincials. Uh, Trialled well this horse. Uh, Kembla race five, singing to win. Now it's drawn badly. Uh, it's gone to a new trainer, Van Dyke. Very, very good trainer, this guy. A terrific trainer first up. Um, I think this horse will be cherry ripe to go. 650 they bet this morning. Um, that's a fair price. Happy to be on it at that price. So Kembla Grange, race five, number three, singing to win. And then we go to the New Zealand meetings. Um, not really interested in Morfordville and places like that. We go to uh, Pukekohe, race six. Uh, Golden Mac. This um, was a red-hot run last start. He got it buried on the on the rails, and then he had nowhere to go. He never really rode it out late. Got beaten four lengths. I think if he gets a run anywhere from around the 200, it probably is right in the finish. Um, it's got a good chance in this race. It's double figures. That's overs for me. Uh, so Pukekohe race six, number three, gold and Mac. We go to Pukekohe race seven, um, which is one of their main races. Fortune Knight, same sort of thing. This uh, was virtually last coming around the corner. It was down on the rails. He had absolutely nowhere to go. And finally got it out and closed to within a length. Now he was um, half a kilo over the limit in that race. He's half a kilo over the limit in this much, much weaker race. He's dropped from a group two to just a shit pot open. Um, basically half a kilo over the limit. This is well weighted in a race like this. Um, it was $12 this morning. Um, it's still, there's plenty of uh, available at that price. So Pukekohe, race seven, number nine, Fortune Knight. We go to Trentham, which is the main uh, meeting in New Zealand. Um, the, as I said, the Randwick meeting, um, it's disgraceful, really, that they can't even manage to get more than one or two races each week with more than uh, 10 runners. Um, and there's a couple of shorties there that look like they'll probably win, so there's no value. Uh, we start at Trentham, race two. Number three, Southern Sav. Now, it's last two runs. This is missed the start by about six or eight lengths. Uh, two runs ago, 
closed late and got beaten four lengths running second. Last out, it's got beaten the nose after getting left in the barriers. If it jumps, it wins. Uh, they've changed the jock on it. Hopefully, he'll get it out of the gates. Um, it's a price in a race like this, probably because of the uh, the roguish manners that it's got at the gates. So at uh, 14 to 1, it's over the odds. Trentham, race 2, number 3, Southern Sav. We go to Trentham 6, uh, Phoenix Tycoon. Very, very unlucky this last start. Got held up at critical stage. Went the wrong way. Uh, got it out late. Flashed home. Just missed. Uh, barrier 13. Probably not as big a deal. Uh, he's going to go back with it anyway. Um, Duplessis goes on it. He's riding pretty well at the moment. So there's no downside there. It's double figures also at around 10 or 12 to 1. That's over the odds for me. I think that's got a good winning chance. Uh, Trentham race six, number 14, uh, Phoenix Tycoon. We go to race eight, um, number 13, Bronte Lass. Uh, another one that uh, found all sorts of trouble. The, the ride wasn't flash, and uh, they've gone to Leaf Innes. That's a big plus. It's drawn well. It's going to be hard to beat in a race like this. And again, it's a double figure, so... There's three there so far at double figures. Um, happy to be betting in those two type of races. Trentham race eight, number 13, uh, Bronte last. And we go to the Telegraph. Good good betting race, this. Um, don't like the favourite whatsoever. Aussie horse Cawthon, three-year-old, coming off a couple of shitpot Mooney Valley runs. Um, how they put this up favourite, I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it won... First started to Rapper by eight lengths on a wet track. He then went to Mooney Valley. Only ever raced on rain affected going. That track's going to be concrete tomorrow. Um, I wouldn't want to be taking three to one this. Um, it's down on the limit, which is really all it can have. Uh, coming out of a couple of listed races at Mooney Valley and Flemington. Um, I can't come this at, uh, at three to one. Happy to go against it. I think there's more uh, seasoned horses in this uh, that are much better value. I've settled for one at a big price. Um, I've jumped in and back Jet Set Lad. Now, first up run, just never handled a wet track at all, and he didn't really ride it out. His track work and trials have been terrific. Um, obviously, they had it set for this, and uh, I think it's got a terrific chance. Barrier 17, no favours there, um, of course. That's why we've got 25 and 33 to 1. Uh, the dry track is the key to it. I think at that price, I'm happy to be jumping into it. Um, for me, the danger, even with the 59 and a half, is Nashville. This found all sorts of trouble first up and um, ran on really hard late, got beaten the length. He's now given it six weeks off straight into this. And even with the 59 and a half, it's going to be right in the finish, I think. Uh, Natuzzi, it's got knocked over first up and uh, made good ground late. It's well weighted with 54 and a half. Um, barrier two, not sure whether that's any great plus because it doesn't show a lot of early speed. So, uh, depending on how they run this race, there's a bit of tempo here. So, I think um, sitting off the speeds where you want to be, that's where it'll be. It'll be coming home late. And number 20, Albany Reunion. This is a horse only had five starts. Um, never missed a place. I think um, on the limit, it's got a chance. Barrier three, well drawn. It'll sit on the speed somewhere. It's an interesting race. I've basically gone looking for value around the favourite, which I think is a risk. And um, as I said, settled on uh, at the value price. Number five, Jet Set Lad. From number one, Nashville. Seven, Natuzzi. 20, great. Uh, sorry, Albany Reunion. Interesting meeting. Um, the dry track will sort a few of these out. There's quite a few of these that are more proficient on rain affected going. They're not going to get that tomorrow. So um, I like the race. I think there's a bit of value. Uh, I've had a quick look at um, Sha Tin on Sunday. There's uh, jackpots in the TT, the six up and the DT. Everything's qualified. So we're finally given an opportunity to play. Um, and I'll be doing the preview for that on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening when we get a 
we get through all the other racing for the weekend and then we'll concentrate on that. At this stage for spring attack, can't find any quaddies worth playing. Um, we may play something in the Telegraph uh, race because of the favourites. Not don't like the favourite, don't rate it. So there might be some value. Play maybe play a small pick four there and take our chances. The only thing that worries me, of course, is the pool size. Um, but with uh, with the combined with Victoria and the main race of the day, I suppose the pool will be reasonable. We'll have a closer look at that tomorrow. Um, but I'd say that's probably where we'll play. Uh, good luck if you play on the weekend. I uh, hope you all have some success. And uh, I'll be back uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening with a preview for Sha Tin on Sunday. Thanks, guys. Good luck.